Right guys, welcome back to the UFS Scotland podcast. Today I'm here with the competition winner, Adam Brown. Say hi. Hi. He is here. <laughs> Let's knock that down. <laughs> there was a lot of boxes. Yeah. So Adam got his, his competition prize, and it was all the MK boosts. Uh, what's it, turbo boxes yeah. he got? Uh, 40 of them. 40 of them, yeah. 40 of them. It was, uh, <laughs> the box was way heavier when it arrived than it is now to carry it around, but yeah. right, if anyone needs a playmat, let me know. <laughs> Handing them out at worlds. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, so Adam got his prize. Right, in today's episode, uh, we are going to be talking about all the currently revealed SoCal characters for the DLCs. Uh, so up. we're missing, currently we're still missing, is it Raphael? Raphael. Uh, so we've got Cervantes, Talum and Inferno, so we'll talk through about them in a wee bit more detail. Uh, we'll also be doing world predictions, and then in next week's video we'll get the rest of the guys' predictions as well, and cool. we'll start keeping track of stuff like this. Interesting. Uh, it's not long, was it? The end of the month? Three weeks? Yeah, two weeks away. Two weeks away. Two oh. weeks away, yeah. No time as well. Uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty soon. But a big thank uh, you to Jasco for the prize again. I've uh, said it a bunch of them directly, but a big thank you again to them. It was awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, it was good. So, we're going to just jump straight into Cervantes. He was the first to be revealed. Yep. Uh, so Cervantes, obviously, it's the 6 for 6. 7 hand size, 20 health, with Chaos, Death and Void. And then he's got his response, right, once per turn. Name one key word ability. After an attack is played, it loses the named ability. If your attack loses the key word ability this way, it gains powerful X. X equals the number of printed keywords on it. So... Yeah, that's pretty. That's yep. Strong ability. Take yeah. rip multiple. Um, take multiple powerful of take DX, safe off cards. Yeah, take safe. Rip like, yeah. off He has a bunch of reversals from his previous Just character hard, as well. Hard counter, like Zhang Wa kind of decks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I like it. It's quite good. It just it's stun. I mean, it's a, it's just an excessively hard counter to like typically the kind of thematical decks you have to deal with. Yeah, of course, and you can take advantage of just cards with lots of jank keywords and just say, okay, I don't need any of this, it's got power phone now. And turn a wee attack into something. Like yeah, it's like, hard. oh no, I've lost Fury. Like, yeah, <laughs> stuff like I've that. lost yeah. a pointless keyword and I've got power phone now, great. Yeah. And then obviously with having potentially so many keywords as well, like, it's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I like it. Uh, it's going to, it probably as that kind of hard counter that you're going to see from most of these kind of characters. Yeah, definitely. Uh, especially because he's a seven hander with a twenty health, so it's a super defensive piece. Yeah, to have it all printed something on like him. meteor or another big powerful yeah. attack. Actually, using powerful at all, if he runs the jet and then do whips like powerful off of or stun. He can whip stun off his stuff as well. Yeah, himself totally. Up, maybe a bit longer, which is good. Right, we'll go on to the second enhance. Enhance. Add one card from your hand to your momentum. Your opponent may destroy one foundation to cancel this effect. So at the, at the end of the day, yeah, it's just self constructing of momentum yeah on the absolute earliest of turns and it's not once per turn either you can continue to yeah just continue to it's the and also the add a card from your hand to momentum is after the colon so you don't put a card from your hand to momentum until your opponent decides to cancel it or not so if yeah you, you don't just decide uh, to cancel it you've still got all seven all six cards yeah so you can just sit there and do it every single attack and say how many foundations you're trying this down or am I going to multiple off a powerful off something huge at the end here yeah that's just that I hit off with a big powerful like, there's just so many options for that yeah in general on the same at the same time as well as you're gaining you're going to like potentially be taking that card away then just to do his response like do his response first exactly. and then hit out with the enhance now you know you've got momentum for it uh, yeah you can just continue you just threaten it on every single attack you play as well your opponent has to decide okay can I take this out can I let him gain momentum this turn or is he waiting yeah. for another turn for multiple or something like that? Yes. So it's, he's both abilities and say are very strong. And the fact he cares about keywords and said the corner is on the death symbol. If you've got a five, four, five keyword attack, you can yep. play Demon Realm Awakening on death. Yeah, it just gives you some damage up and give him more cards in hand, which is great. Uh, definitely. So we'll fire on to the attack. I'll let you do this one. Okay. Um. So it's a four diff. So it's called Geo Ray. It's four diff, three check, uh, two mid block, four high for four. It uh, has all three of his symbols. It has five keywords with Breaker 1, Charge Fury, Stun 1, and Weapon. And its first ability is Response. After you block with this card, add the top card of your deck to your momentum. Your opponent may discard one card to cancel this effect. So, it's Response after you block with it. So it's a Breaker 1, and it's a mid-block, meaning it can come out and block anything you want, obviously, and Breaker 1 it. And on top of having like Breaker 1 Gravy, it can go and give you a card momentum. Not from your hand, top of the deck, but your opponent has to discard a card. So, what is that? Two for one? Three for one? Yeah, two for one. Two for one, you do it? Yeah, right. so you block, add the top card. Breaker one, 
break a one, and then your opponent, and then your opponent can cancel that that. Discuss. Right, so it's, a, it's essentially it's a two for one. It's a nice two for one ability yeah. on that. That's um, you're either that, you're either blocking hitting with the breaker and stuff like that, or they're cancelling it. You're still hitting them with the breaker. Yeah. Uh, but like at the same time, it's like if they're having to discard, like yeah, you're you're just creating advantage. At yeah. That point. If they if they don't want you to get momentum so badly when they're attacking, they discard a card. You're just ending a turn early, essentially, with this card, which is fantastic just for something that's so easy to play. It does have a second ability, which is enhanced. If you have more momentum than your opponent, your opponent destroys one foundation. So on the offense, if you can pull off Cervantes' own enhance and your opponent doesn't have any momentum, you just need one, it kills the foundation. Yep. They get to choose the foundation killed, but it's still easily enough, okay, you're down one. Which yeah. Is it's, it's, still, it's still super game. early. It's still super early on, like, the early turns just to start, like, nuking their board. Yeah. Taking a... If you can... Doing it a lot myself playing Jira. If you can take away someone's first or second turn build, if they've had a bad yeah. second or first turn, you go straight into attack in your second turn. You can get you can leverage an advantage straight away, which is great, especially for a low health, high stat, enhanced size character, and just putting your opponent in a difficult position every time you say enhance with every single one of your attacks. Yeah. This and Cervantes, which is just tough to play through and play against. Yeah, really. Cervantes essentially basically is going to be holding about two momentum. Yeah, off of his enhances itself. So it's like one of those ones where like. Yeah, your chances are you probably will be having more momentum in general. Fairly like, straightforward to do with yeah. yeah. I like it. Uh, overall, it looks pretty good. Five keywords again, as you said, for like... Yeah, again, he's got five lightning. keywords. Um, you can drop any of the pointless keywords on this. Charge and Fury was probably... I'd probably take Charge off it, because no one right yeah. now cares about Charge. Drop card Charge, give it powerful five. There you go. Yeah. You're four high for four, and then five, four high for how much momentum you got for a ton of damage. So, yeah. great wee card. Solid. And the spiral around Cervantes himself will look really nice with a foil coming I out. I mean, that's the thing as well. Everything, everything we're going to see is going to be foil. No, we did see... Did you watch uh, Legendary stream when yeah. we showed the box off? The showed box the box. is massive. The, box is, the cards are like uh, this big inside it. <laughs> the box is massive. Uh, and foil. <laughs> and, fo- uh, and foil. I think the box looks amazing. Yeah. Like, just, it's the kind of box that you know you would keep one or two about well, just to put like, on a shelf. I just have one hanging around would be quite yeah, nice. Yeah, it's like it's a nice wee backdrop you can for something. Flatten it if you don't want to have it, obviously, as wide. Ah, even flatten it and put it into the back of your wall. Yeah, I like them. Uh, right, we'll fire on to the foundation. Jesus. There we go. <laughs> Shell ones. of a proud man. So it's a two diff foundation with a five check. It's got a two mid block. And then it's got the first response commit one foundation. After your attack is not blocked, your opponent loses two vitality. Solid. Reusable spiders, and it's not itself that commits it. Is it? Any foundation you can commit, yep. any useless piece of jank you've got sitting around at that time, I connected lose two more life. I connected the next deck lose two more life. Yeah, constantly threatening extra life loss. I know, right. especially if you if you're constantly saying, "Here, look, I've got four of these out in, out in the field." Yeah, what? Like, uh, yeah, that just takes one hit to go through, and then you just commit for like eight damage. I mean, yeah, you take one damage. Okay, yeah, more. it's like pretty mental. I like it. Uh, it definitely goes in a few. I think Azatrov and uh, Katrina definitely use it well. As well, and Gavira could probably use it quite well yeah. in regards to it, but they would have to use it on Chaos. Yeah, themselves. which would be fine. I think it would be yeah, fine. Yeah, it would be alright. Chaos. Just, just uh, give something for Chaos. Uh, Chaos yeah, is still definitely. needing a little bit of love. I think it's getting slowly bits and pieces onto its symbol now that they're trying to give it some love back. And yeah, totally. It wants this, Chaos seems to want to do, wants to do a momentum thing, but doesn't have it's any like, defense. Yeah, it's, to like, get it's like it's slowly getting there. It's picking up. It's slowly picking up. So, its other response is just a response and flip. After an attack is played, it loses all keywords. Love that ability yeah, so much. It's so, so defensive. Like so, so good. It's the, it's actually the defensive piece that is technically missing in yes. something like chaos. Chaos and any again, if you someone drops, well, I mean it's powerful ex stun ability, something with tons of keywords. Up against a jet muscle, muscle launcher, yep, nutcracker, muscle launcher, nutcracker, stuff like that. Just, you go okay, it's all gone. It's just like I right, cool. I'll, I'll deal with like the the base. <laughs> yeah, it's your your attack is what a nutcracker base speed four. Totally fine, I'll block that Meteor 5 high, doesn't get any more bonuses to damage, just take 5 at that point. Yeah. Great wee kit to just go and flip over, your opponent plays a big multiple windmill punch or something else, you yeah. just turn it off. You just say no. Fantastic, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing, it's really good. Uh, as I say, it's the defensive piece I think slowly that is coming into chaos in general that's definitely needed. I think uh, there was enough low health, there's a lot, lot of characters from the previous Soul Calc that are 2019 health. And the Void, Death, Chaos is there, but again, you're not really playing anyone Chaos right now. But yep. Tira and Voldo, 
I think will use this card because oh, they yeah. want to get the extra damage in to make the game faster. Aye. And being low health characters themselves, if they can take away a big massive stun or powerful multiple ability completely, they'll both play it. I know I wouldn't pick that card up my tier today. Yeah, I, I still like it. Uh, I think Valdo is probably who I'll end up putting that in there for definite. Yeah. Uh, overall, uh, out of five, maybe, let's do a, a rating out of five, what do you think of Cervantes? The new Cervantes, um, it's tricky because it's the first one we've gone and done here. Yeah. Um, if you're saying Cervantes is a benchmark, he's great, his attack's powerful, and his foundation's powerful. Probably be conservative, give them the four out of five right now. In the yep. to just see if anyone can do better than that at the moment. Yeah, uh, I, I'm on. I'm on the same boat. I would say about four out of five, just in also in comparison to, to the one dot version. Yeah, the one dot well, version is still strong. We can obviously stack them or gauge them both. Yeah, and you're going to be able to stack way. these, which is good. But I think that uh, the two dot is probably the better version between yeah. the two. I think like, you also I think one more life as well. I think the one dot has yeah, 19, nineteen, so one life. So like, aye, <laughs> and it's one life is what makes the difference sometimes. Especially, <laughs> when, you're, times, especially when you're gauging them. Let's be honest, you're typically going to see people play these and gauge them yeah. out. I still think the two dot probably has more utility in what you can do than the one yeah. dot there. I uh, know I definitely like it. I wasn't amazed about the first one, but this one's like ah, I would probably. I know Scott's it. looking forward to this because Scott's yeah. a huge Cervantes fan. Tried the first one, tried to get into it, but you saw this and went mental. So I'm sure Scott's looking forward to it. Yeah. Right. So now we'll go on to the second character, Talon Tudor. So again, six difficulty, six check, zero mid block, a seven hander with nineteen health. Uh, what was our last character's health again? 620 something, something, I think it was. 26. Yeah, 26 or something. Yeah. So, okay, so it's a bit of a different, bit different take. So, air, uh, good in water. Uh, right, enhances once per turn. If you have more face down foundations than your opponent, add one card from your discard pile to your momentum. Playable well committed. Super strong. Yep. Easily to do, easy enough to do in regards to a lot of stuff. She does have the symbols if she wants to. She can. I think he's just a symbol of Spike the One Dot. He uh, flips yeah. up a bunch of his foundation, of so if you want to go into it, you can go. Yeah. No, I think he's water and good. Water and spike good. one, Spike two is there. Spike two is there. He's got all the ships, but yeah, if you face down foundations, yeah, you got one, which is one more than your opponent. Uh, free momentum once per turn. Yeah. Isn't all the time, obviously, but getting that one momentum, if you just adding it up or slowly building up over turns, gives you that big multiple later on. Yeah, it just gives, I think it just gives you the extra wee momentum as you're going along your game. Yeah, uh, I think the way she's going to typically play, you you should probably have more face downs in general. I think, uh, well, especially if you get a one dot version of it as well. Yeah, you should definitely have the the face downs. I think Zalem, the Talum you could easily gauge. I'd probably oh, God, stick I. maybe. It depends if you want the extra card or not in your hand. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, now you want to start the game off, but myself, I'd probably go with Talon One Dot and have the health to get into Talon Two Dot yep. at that point, and then work into Talon Two Dot probably. Yeah. Uh, the second enhance is commit, build all face down cards from your card pool committed. Like from the way Talon One Dot plays and the way I've seen her, yeah, you, you're pretty much seeing like three, four face downs in the card pool at a time, and you're just recycling them back and, and forth. And as essentially, well. you're recycling to pick up the attack. So you're, so you're putting you're putting down a foundation face down, and then she just says, "Cool, well let's commit her and bring them all down." Yeah, you clear your clear card the pool. card pool. Yep, you can keep you can keep fighting, build something you really want to, but when you go back to your opponent's turn, you've got your attacks in hand, which I mean you don't really want to block them nine times out of ten, but your yeah. attacks will have better blocked uh, on average than your foundations. So you'll be in a better position to defend as well. So that second ability, if she's got. If you've got both talons on the field and be able to use the recycle out every single face down, no, that's um, that's a really strong ability. Yeah, it's not. I, I like it. It's great. I definitely like it. I think it's pretty effective. Uh, She's also in symbols with uh, Kurabara. Yep. Who does a lot of face down yep. stuff off of good, off and of water. good and water. And who else? Mitsu, Mitsurugi as well. Does yep. a lot of good stuff with face downs so, as well. She's definitely got support. Uh, I think that's one of the things I think people might have been worried about with how much support they're going to have, but. Gee, these, I think every single one of them's fell into some absolute hell of good support. These past two characters have really gone right into falling into. You should probably mute that. Yeah, let's mute the UFS chat. <laughs> the one time it pings. Muted. <laughs> gone. Yeah. So, yes, Tang won't have an issue of finding support. Same with Avantes won't have an issue. I think all the fake Grim Fairy Tale characters are fine as well. Uh, but maybe the Dark One. I think the Dark, the dark oh. One's probably does his own thing. Uh, he just plays him when he's every but, single turn that's all he does <laughs> yeah uh, I think I think he plays off his own stuff and then you just build a round off of fire that's and right. then 
work it from there. I've not, yeah, I've not seen anyone even talk about him yet, which is annoying because I want to see him get built. <laughs> Can I build him? I just need yeah. a few more cards and I'll be fine. No, definitely. Uh, so, so she got to her attack. So she's got an attack called Airblade Thrust. 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 I thought that was a C as well. <clears throat> so it's a three diff attack with a three check, and it's got a two mid block. It's three mid for three damage. It has got charge, punch, ranged, and weapon for keywords. Face down cards. Do not count towards progressive difficulty to play this card. So, you've got to love standard text like that. I just static text <laughs> that just happens. It's just, I ignore all face downs. It's Akuma. Akuma is yeah. static it's a Kuma text. Different, it's Akuma on different symbols. Yeah. And it's like, cool. I like, I like that. The like, nice little thing yeah. you end a long chain with, or you just nip it out part way through. Yeah, totally. Especially yeah. with his next ability. Yeah, the, the first, the, the only enhance it's got on this card is if this attack deals damage, add it to your momentum. So, this is literally like going to like obviously if it deals damage, does it clears it's, itself. It's, to clears momentum, itself. It's, instantly useful. it's going to then instantly come out as a, a multiple. Let's be honest. Yeah, like that's pretty much the gate, the plan for it. Then if you're playing as Talon, you're going to then. Pick it up after the multiple resolves and just go again. Replay it, yeah, <laughs> and just cycle. And as long as this, as long as this does damage, right? And there's, let's be honest, there's enough ways for this to do damage. Or do you want your opponent to have to constantly waste the block on it? Exactly. Just to say, it's like your opponent has you, to either do you waste the block? block it? Yep. A three diff, three damage constantly has yeah. to get blocked. It's like literally, this is the card that you literally say to yourself, "Don't even touch the damage on it. Let's yeah. just let the chip damage hit them." Because either they're letting the three through and it's going to start this cycle of doom. Yeah, or just constantly this wee card yeah. going chip, chip, chip. Yeah. And, and, then, just and, then obviously, and then obviously you're doing stuff like that. You've now put another card in the pool. You now commit Talon. You're bringing their cards down. Yep. Like, make it... Obviously they come down committed. But you're off of air. Let's right. be honest. There is enough ways to uncommit stuff like in air. Like, that is very true. Reaction. So it's not, as if, it's not as if that's a stupidly kind of like stalled out phase. Like, yeah, if you've got what is it? You've got Wandering, Wandering Pirate, Pirate like, um, you've got Betrayed by the Family, yeah. and if you really want to. Tijuana Groceries just to continually do it anyway. You've got Spike to his graffiti job. Yeah, you graffiti play job. There, but it's there. You've got Betrayed by the Family. Like, there is a lot of cards that are constantly readying up yeah. where having these foundations come down committed, like, yeah, cool, but I'm still going to have like four or five that do the job of recommitting. Yeah, Wandering Pirate's probably a good one because you, you can bring another one of those up. There's yeah. one you've built for free, so that's. Just solid what it does. I will say we did call it chip damage, and the art in the card does look like she's trying to chip Inferno. She's uh, about to tear her arm uh, off. Yeah, it looks <laughs> like she's about to get sacrificed an arm. Yeah, for, the, for this little bit of damage. But again, if you what do that, if you do that enough times, like you'll, you'll, eventually, you'll eventually win. <laughs> uh, I really like this card. I think it's a great. Uh, it's, easy, easy to see what it wants to do and how to use yeah. it. It's not a complicated card. It's just get in there, get. You get your two for one. If you get the hit, you get your momentum. Yeah. The next card comes out. So it'd be and, at the, and at the same time as well, the fact that face downs don't quite count towards progressive means that that card realistically doesn't get any harder to ever play. It's maybe a four if you're yeah, only really playing it after a like, multiple. Yeah, play it after a multiple. You've maybe got it. Yeah, but it's going to be a four. But let's be honest, a four diff is not an issue. Nope, not even slightly. To continually replay. No, like you've mental. Be fine it's with that card all the time. So that's really solid. That one. Yeah, look forward to it again. And it's not even that. I th I'm pretty sure there's the cards and and the, these symbols as well that after the attack resolves, you not flip them anyway. Is that not? Uh, I don't know if that's a Kumas though. I after hope the it's attack not. resolves, you flip yeah. It. After the, ah, no, it's a Kumas symbols. It's alright. It's half symbols. Yeah, that's um, drained by a kiss. Yeah, I was thinking one of them. I was like, you can. There's, I think there's ways of flipping foundations anyway. Or well, attacks. Hang on. You might be thinking. Of the next card? Yep. You're yeah, thinking of the next card. That's so what I was also Our next one is her foundation, so it's called Innocent Breeze. It's a 2 diff 5 check, 2 mid blocks. I think everything's got a mid block for her now. All her 3 symbols. It's got 2 keyword, two abilities. The first one is Enhance Commit. This attack gets plus 1 damage for each card in card pool. So that's nice and straightforward. It's a commit ability for damage, which is always kind of iffy in regards to how much resource you want to put in for yeah. some damage. But if you're doing a Lilith and filling your card pool massively, or even in Lilith because it's got water on it, it is extra damage, which is nice to get a small attack up and get a big hit in or just get that finishing blow, which is good. Can't really say too much about that one. Yeah, yeah Second, it does, does the job. Yeah. Second ability is what Connor's thinking about. Yep. Because we looked at these as response flip after an attack resolves, flip it, playable was committed. Yep. Boom. So, yeah. Your opponent plays reduction, you go, that's nice, it's gone. Yep. Your opponent plays Cheerios, flipped. Yep. You just... That's such a nice wee piece has, of tech to has, get rid of something. Has, has your opponent not get any cards in hand? You play that. You play her first attack. Yeah. You resolve it. You momentum it. You play your multiple. 
attack. You put yeah. it, you put it in. It resolves. You now flip it. You get this thing getting played on a three diff. There's all uh, such an absolute amazing way to rotate that card. Yeah. That one ability makes that, that card just. It's going to see yeah. just so much playing. That, that card. That card says if you go, if you have no hand, you are probably losing some amount of life. Yeah, <laughs> like easily enough. I think if you, unless you're on the high thirties to Goro level, you probably get battered if you yeah. play into ta- into Talon with no cards in hand. Yeah, totally. I mean, it's, it's just metal. It's just like yeah. If you get enough of them out and you just constantly kind of flip the, the last, the previous attack, you're not getting any harder. Again, it's a low health character, nice defensive piece as well, because you want to be sitting, well, playing cards again, like negating attacks, blocking, reducing damage and stuff like that. So if you can get rid of reductions in Tyrion or another constant card effects or break combo chains, yeah, aye, 100%. Your opponent's oh, comboing off a weapon, okay, that last weapon, flip it, you've lost your combo. Yep. So, uh, Again, no, it's, it's, it's a solid, solid card. Uh, again, so I think that's like a house. Uh, out of five. That talent at five, I suppose, I think you'd be more inclined to gauge that one than you would Cervantes. Yep. Our cards are still powerful, but if, mm, I don't know, I'd probably put it on... i put it at a three. Yeah, I'd probably say the same. I think you're wanting to gauge a lot the, of that the, talent. To get yeah, it's like the effects are amazing, but you're typically, everybody is switching chats today. <laughs> Everybody is switching chats today. That is <laughs> the off one. Oh, no rest. Uh, so, like, yeah, I think you, you start as Talon one dot, gauge or just hard check into her. Yeah, uh, you can do that easily enough. And then begin that game plan, basically. I think that's the way you do it, but I wouldn't see you starting as her. Which no, is why unless, I'm hitting the unless point you're off. missing something, obviously. Yeah, unless somebody has figured out some jank that I've not seen yet. And go for uh, that straight talent, but yeah. I think you'd want both to go and just take advantage fully of everything she can do. Yeah, I, I think I think when you start as the one dot, being able to rotate the, the face down attacks, yeah, to be able to replay, I think that's given more playability to start the game with. Yeah, than she does the two dot version. So yeah. I'm saying that I would say about three out of five. Three, she's still strong. Her cards are still good, and we'll see a lot of play. So I'm looking forward to her coming out. Um, we have next is the one. We're excited for because I he's mad. Cannot wait. So next we have Inferno two dot six diff six check five hand size thirty five health three ha- three symbols all earth fire. So he's changed his earth symbol out uh, yep. before evil last time. And then he has two abilities. His first ability is a first form once per game. Remove your hand from the game. Your opponent picks five attacks from your discard pile. Puts it into your hand. This effect can't be cancelled. Yep. So once per game. When your opponent fails to kill you, you say, okay, swing. my turn. And just pick up. Your opponent picks these five cards, but I think if you're playing it off of fire and the ability to just get rid of a bunch of stuff from your discard yeah. pile with ease, you can pretty much dictate what you're getting yeah. 99% of the time. No, so totally. this isn't a choice. This is, I want these five attacks, and I'm taking all five of these attacks. What I also like about it is the fact it says, first form, it's in blue means that the whole thing the whole issue with form maybe not being in the game is still obviously in the game yeah um, um, it might just be first form I think, still hanging I think yeah I think it's just possibly going to be an easier way of explaining it maybe yeah especially or, with it having like obviously they went with colour I think so the like, colour is handy green, because it, yeah, you, you can look at the card and go there's a colour and you can trigger yeah, yourself it's like you, I, somebody says well a form you would play it as blue yeah do you know what I mean obviously not in an action but like you play it as blue for instance, and stuff like that might be easier to like kind of like chain in people. It's a nice wee trigger for everyone, even older players who might every now and again go, did the new card, oh, it has this ability again, and trigger back in. And yeah. Thing. The second ability is very, well, very good. Uh, is uh, enhance, discard the top three cards of your deck, remove one card from your discard pile, your attack gets a damage bonus equal to the printed control of the removed card. So, mill yourself, great, M- putting cards in your discard pile, you're removing a five diff, or five check because you're killing a foundation but it's it doesn't have to be the card you mill it's any card you're discard pill you can move so if you mill three attacks but you have a foundation and lower in the yeah. chain still plus five damage to this attack and it's every single attack so it's very very Marathi-esque and get yeah. massive damage to every single attack you're throwing which means your opponent don't know how to break ah, it's like Marathi, it it's like what Marathi in reverse because yeah. she was difficult to... yeah he was rip it off the top yeah he was rip it off the top and go for difficult he's going with checks which is just the more consistent five yeah and because he fills his yard at the same time it's great I mean it's it's a mini Goro I suppose yeah it's like, it's like a nice four mil four. it's a nice we kind of like change he is, yeah he's a different Goro <laughs> yeah but same symbols and everything like, yeah the ability to just battle your opponent all game 
your opponent who swing back and has this turn to either overextend or don't kill you or and then you go okay I'm taking five attacks every single one of these attacks is whatever it is plus five yep you will slowly just beat someone away because yeah. there's not really much you can you're do waving on somebody hard for this guy I think Inferno's going to see Bang come roaring back again because you just yeah. have to stop that you, just, uh, you have to be able to turn that somewhat off low health characters might even die in two hits from him because he throws two oh, ten yeah. attacks it's just they're gone yeah, straight away. Pretty much. Like, no, he is, he's mental. So he's uh, just so strong. Yeah, he's a tackle. Here we go. So it's Gorefest. It's a six difficulty for a three check. It's got two mid block. Uh, so far, I'm liking the fact that everything's got blocks. It's all mid as well. Yeah, it's just quite nice. It's just like, here, this is the basic bread and butter of what you're going to do with this guy. Here's mids for him. Yeah. Nothing kind of off. You've got the health to take hits. So it's a six high attack with six damage. And it's got weapon as a keyword, and then the hands is this attack is plus one speed for every four foundations in your remove from game pile, and gets plus one damage for every two attacks in your remove from game pile. I mean, if it doesn't scream Ken, <laughs> yeah. if you didn't think about Ken when you saw this card, you kind of think about Ken now just reading that. So, yep. with all the support, if you're going to play Inferno and play Gorefest and do what you're doing there, I think you're playing off fire, which means you're playing yeah. Ken, which means you're going to look at all the other abilities that just let you remove cards like mad from yep. your discard pile to just fuel Gorefest. Yeah. It's 6 diff, 6 high for 6 is like probably average stats. It's got a 3 check on it, so it's not doing anything overly insane like a 2 or 1 check does nowadays because yep. all those cards are now incredibly strong. But it's nice and solid. It points you in the right direction for what Inferno wants to do. And it's just lots of damage. Yeah. And even if you don't get much out of his own hands, it's six high for eleven, six high yeah, for twelve f- with yeah. Inferno's own enhancement. Inferno's enhance makes it mental. Makes right. it like yeah, First as you said, like six high eleven. And you're sitting going six high for eleven, that's now having to get blocked. Yeah. And uh, yeah, but right. the first attack you throw in your turn your point goes Yeah. I can't not block this, so yeah, you have, you to, have to deal it. with it. Yeah, you have to deal with it. Uh, I think this attack goes into things like Ken like, I think it goes into a lot of decks. It was just quite scary. I think it would go into Ken. I don't know if Ken wants a six diff attack. Is the thing because Ken likes all his little fours. I, I don't know. I think he might. I think he might run one. It's one just or a ton two. Of damage for if it, you yeah. see it, aye. Because let's be honest, if the if the kill turn doesn't work, that should. Yeah, that'll probably just end someone at that point. Right. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's like a fair that, point. Yeah, that attack in itself should. I think uh, it really combos off of going onto the foundation though, yes. which this is one. possibly <laughs> the greatest thing I have ever wanted. In a card. <laughs> yeah, couldn't want more. So it's called Hellfire I... of Despair. So yep. it's already, sounds great. It's a two diff, five check. Now, you said the name wrong, sorry. That says for chivalry and honour, <laughs> my good sir. <laughs> okay. I can't believe I thought I was losing the one card from my Earth Goro deck. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, Jasko hitting me up, go, do you know what? Here, have a better version. So, have... so it's a two diff foundation <laughs> to comparison this, right? Are you ready for this, right? Two diff, same. Cool. For Chivalry, had a four check, and they're like, nah, here, have a five. Yeah. Because why Why have fours? Fours, are, fours make math have to happen in the game. Let's just go with the fives. <laughs> and then, oh, you're holding this for Chivalry, because every so often you're holding it. Oh, somebody swings an attack. Ah, cool. I, this is a low block. <laughs> it does have a low block. This it's is a low block. This is literally a better version. Nice. It's now also on all of my symbols. <laughs> It's just a Goro symbol card. It's on all three of Goro's symbols. And obviously, as you can tell, going into the response, flip. After an attack's played, it's damage, can't be modified. Exact same tech, exact same ruins. This is the greatest card they have brought out so far this year. Now, it does have a second ability, you which is also right. is madly hyped, for, especially for Fennel and Ken. Enhanced Remove. Remove any number of cards from your discard pile from the game. Yep. Yeah, sure. Like. So, your, opponent, your opponent's attacking you, they swing their last attack. You either block it or let it hit you because it doesn't kill you. But before that, because you go, this is your last attack, you're not killing me with it, he remove, you clean your discard yep. pile of everything but five that. attacks you want. One yep. of them probably being Gorefest. Let's be honest, it's going to be four of them being It Gorefest. might just be four Gorefest. Yep. And you just pick that up, first form, you don't care what you draw, you launch that out the window. It's not even that, the best thing about it is, you, after you, when your first form, you're also having to remove that hand, so you're... You're making it bigger. And, and you're fueling it at the same time. Yeah. yeah, it's another five cards that probably are going to add to yeah, the numbers. You, you add that to the fire, pick up yeah. your five, and you start with Gorefest and go, enhance, it's gigantic now. Yep. And then Perfect. you go, enhance with Inferno, it's even bigger. Yeah, it's so mental. And it's the fact that, the, I think the best bit about it is the fact that the the speed is increased because of the foundations. Yeah. 
I mean, let's be honest. Even if you fire, if you fire, say three or four. Yeah, like come on. Even like, getting it up to like sixteen foundations into the pool is still four speed. Yeah, that's now ten high. You're milling yourself the entire time as well. So by the time you get there and turn three or four, you trigger a hellfire despair. Or if fire. you're going into this kill turn, I, I the way I always explain it to the wee brother was like you should be having like probably twenty four ish foundations in that. Yeah, and you'll you probably should. have a good amount of your attacks you don't need in there for just damage to it. Yeah. And at the same time, if you're doing that, you've removed a bunch of stuff and you're removing stuff the whole game, you, as Inferno, might as well just play Ken's attacks and play yeah. Kurobashi Kick yeah. and just get the damage. And just remove yep. cards off the top by itself. Yeah. Um, you can also go and play, if you want to play the cards or attacks you've removed, you can bring in Tech Spheres yep. and play the cards you've removed. Okay, you, you don't want to play Gore Fest in a 6, play it in a 5. The stats are a bit lower, but, but it's easier to play and still yep. gets the boost. It's, it's going to do the damage. It's like, still... I think Inferno is going to come out and he's going to just have to go around and beat people down. Yeah, I think I think that's what's going to happen. Inferno with these three, his character and his attack and his foundation is just... I think what it is, is it's compared to the one dot, it's like, this is what I want to do. Yeah. The, Instead of this kind of convoluted, yeah. let's give other people stuff. Yeah, the like, one dot was very weird and looked like it was trying to be some sort of awkwardly complicated Ken... It yeah. wasn't really what I expected from him, and but was removing cards, but wanted to be in desperation. And yep. it was really, we don't know yeah. what you want in Inferno. This Inferno takes his old version, sets it on fire, chucks it in the roof and play bin, and then murders yeah. you by himself. I mean, this is this is the first one so far. Obviously, Raphael still would be uh, revealed, but yeah. like this is the first one out of them where you would you would never gauge. You, no, you, you, don't don't, you just don't need you to. Don't need to play. You can play. You can play Inferno's foundation because Inferno has the foundations of milling yourself for damage. Because yeah. You want to mill yourself and, and removing stuff. Yeah, you've got the ones that you remove stuff, and you've got the other ones. Say if you've got a ta- copy of this attack removed from the game, you get plus one plus one. Yep. But or this... if this attack's blocked, you flip it and draw. Yeah. So. But no, no need for gauging for this character in the slightest. This, I think this I've... guy is just mental. And I think your opponents, if every time you attack. I think if you're playing the right card, you can swing every single attack for probably nine, ten damage. Oh, easily. Every single oh, one will be coming in hard and fast. Yeah, every one of this, like this, this is such a amazing replacement for Goro. When really slowly sad, run. No, because listen, see, be honest, Goro rotates right, and if I've not already got a character card, but then in the white in the works right, this is my replacement. Like, yeah, pretty much <laughs> is uh, fairly similar. To yeah, it. you actually get another card though, Connor. You get five. Yeah. Well, you mean you're going to be able to handle that? I think I might. <laughs> <laughs> I, might I might have to start doing some weight training to be able to hold that fifth card. But, like, no, he's a, he's a solid replacement. I uh, just think he's he's so straightforward what he's doing. And he just, the entire game threatens death just by attacking or saying, I've had enough, first form. Yeah. Or you could even be at a tournament and look at the clock and go, okay, we're 1 1 right now, first form. Five yeah. minutes left, we're going for it. And just the yeah. opponent. You just force the issue. It's not one of those characters that has to wait around, which is a bad thing you're playing UFS. You might have a point where you and your opponent are drawing grey and yeah. it's, or one orange and you can't actually accumulate enough attacks to swing yeah. because at that point in the game, you, you need all, you need five attacks to swing. And yep. You need every single attack to be doing damage. But, but at the same time, all, you also sometimes need to be able to hold blocks. And it's like, ah, it's, it's, that, yeah. it's that crucial balance that sometimes stagnates a lot of games. A game. yeah. and, but he can force the issue whenever he wants. So. Yeah you're behind, I'm ahead, or this game has lasted too long, or I finally got everything I need, yeah. or I'm maybe one turn away from dying, you can instantly push the button, force the issue, pick up the cards you want and go for it. I mean, it even comes down to the fact that because he's got Earth, you could play stupidly defensive yeah, for the sweet. entire game, wait until it gets to like the the 50th minute <laughs> <laughs> in a game, and then go, do you know what, let's end it. I mean, if you're <laughs> like, playing on Earth, you could just like mill your drift card pile out to your left of four nutcrackers and say okay these are all uh, four low for 13 because you get yeah. nine damage on every single one of them probably yep. so I mean that'll kill someone eventually no definitely <laughs> it's absolutely mental I think he works on, he can play off every single set well fire gives him the most access to the removed and discard and yeah. stuff earth gives him access to all the defensive pieces yep. that he might want if he wants to play slow um, and all all, 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 is all, all, and all says weapon all says weapon that attacks weapon yeah, if you like, want to, you can go like Yoshi style and yeah. all it. You could play Ghost Thief, which would be six mid for just insane amount of damage. Yeah, um, every single time you, you can, can bring play Scarlet. You, you can go heavy on a go uh, on a guilty throne. Yeah, 
like there's so many Seven's options basic, like yeah, yeah. bring like, in Scarlet there are so many big attacks Everything. you can potentially play that basically go yeah I'm going to hit you I don't think he's a bad symbol at all this really depends how you want to play him yeah I think every single one of these symbols essentially says you're going to play it slightly different which is amazing yeah like there's no not I mean, one of them filter into the same category which Earth is nice. Goro, or not Earth Goro Earth Inferno Earth you're going to all the same thing now Earth Inferno you can just pick up all the throws from um, everyone and say because his, his ability doesn't care if it's a throw or not yeah. plus 5 damage every single throw yep. pick all the Astroth stuff yeah that's what I was thinking all of Astroth floor. all of Astroth just in general throws in general Sophia's throws and stuff like that like, yeah Cassandra's got a throw yep, in there Cassandra's well. got a throw like, you can generally play a throw version of this where you just say to somebody even on the half damage you're, still going to, you're still going to die because if you say to somebody right on the average of them, it's like a five death or five damage, yeah. And you're giving it an extra five damage. You're saying, "Cool, you're going to take five damage off of five attacks." That's still twenty five health. Yeah. If you've not been doing prior damage to them, especially if you're going to be a throw deck, you like be then something's them. happened where you've either had like omni blocks at you or some mad janks stopped you. Yeah. But otherwise, you should be like just able to like, absolutely steamroll a game. Just flat people. Like, like, yeah. If, yeah. Earth, if you've done the earth throw version, you're probably a being in a nightmare for every single wee character there is oh there. god aye these 20 health characters just would melt in front of if you're playing yeah. the old version you don't have 5 cards in hand you have every single card you could ever want in hand because oh, totally. all just draws and fire just I think fire just goes nuts at one point and just aye fire takes just, advantage aye, of everything fire just takes that everything that Ken would do because you've got Marshall Banana from Jet that gives you damage yep. and Ken's card that gives you speed Ken's for speed and you can just go wild any symbol yeah. I think Inferno strong Christ even throw punching duties into two of the, the three symbols because he mills himself because he mills himself and right. he just turns something into even more devastating yeah. attack like, especially aye, it's like off of all in fire you can punch and duty and this is yeah. stupidly effective I would have thought yeah we're yeah. going to have to give a rating to Inferno I think yep. I know what it's going to be it's a 5 it's a 5 has to be a 5 have to say that has well. to be a 5 we might be overhyped for him but yeah I yeah, know it's a uh, I think we're going to have probably the next time we have when this comes out and we have an, a games night maybe three or four or five Infernos just yeah I wouldn't, I wouldn't be shocked I just, generally wouldn't be shocked if we still got to see Raphael yeah we've still got to see Raphael he could be uh, just giant be amazing, amazing. As well. I can uh, I, from the, the three of the characters so far revealed I like Raphael 1 dot I think Raphael 2 dot going off of the predict- like all the stuff so far is probably going to be so much better I think Raphael Windot's current problem is that he can defend like an absolute beast yeah but his backswing isn't yeah great, it's, great. It's like, I think I think Raphael's Windot's biggest issue is Gil exists yeah and it's like why are you just not playing Gil it's, it sounds bad as well but it's like it, it is true sometimes some characters just do what they want to do but better yeah pretty well Gil, Gil, Gil just does what Raphael wants to do uh, Gil gives give, giving and taking away speed right now is a, still a massive part of the game if you can give speed or take away speed for little to no cost it's just insane yeah. like Sofitia still I still don't understand why our enhance exists it's oh, just yeah, yeah. so so overpowered Gil right now just uh, picks up shield big bang has a pile of assets and says how many 10 yeah. high for 6s can you take yeah and that's just how that yeah, that, that's all it is right now. No, that'll be fair. It'll be interesting to see. But yeah. as I say, Raphael still to come out. Hopefully, it comes out soon. The, yeah, I think they'll they'll be winding down posts probably for worlds. I think we'll probably get them this week because so, everyone else. I'm kinda, on Friday, I'm kinda, I'm kinda so we should hopefully get hopefully Raphael get this Friday. This Friday would be quite nice. And then they'll probably wind stuff down until worlds. Worlds will be yeah. my hero stuff. Um, um, white, well, well, here's, here's hoping. Here's hoping. At yeah. least, yeah. And if you're a My Hero fan, the two heroes movies on Netflix now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch that the other day. Along really with, good. Along with obviously the new movie. Yeah, the, the new movie cinemas or something like that. Um, I'm not sure what the release date is, uh, but I have um, no idea. I'll flag it up on the post when I find it. But uh, I actually don't know. I remember posting about it a few a few weeks ago about it. Uh, I think it's I don't know. It's pretty soon. It's yeah. Before May, so I think it's March. That was what? Well, it's before the release. It's like the, uh, something like the fourteenth of March or something like that. Yeah, it's something that, that like rings that. a bell. Uh, so we can go into world predictions so me and Adam are going to do other predictions first I'll get Michael Scott and Emma's predictions as well and then we'll just have that put up on a post on the UFS uh, Facebook page and we'll see how close anyone got yeah so, maybe win a cookie. <laughs> so obviously we'll do it similar to what the Gale treatment did we're going to have number of players right how many people get diversified yep and who you think is going to win it ok no problem well I mean, well, so number of players, uh, and we'll and we'll stick with the rules that no two people can have the same number. Okay. 
for any or the same pick. Right. For, okay. So I'm going first. I think there'll be 148 players. I need to write this down. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think you think 148, 148 players. That is a lot of players. Obviously, it'd be common combining every single, well, more than every single PTC, effectively, yeah. and every single player going along. Um, well, I'll be the, I'll do, I'll do the one, I'll just go up. Well, how many people do I think would be there? I don't know how many people were there last year. Could have checked that before. I know, I never even checked, but I'm pretty sure it was about that. 148, I said. Yeah. Cool. I think there'll be a lot of hype in regards to it coming up, so I'm going to say 160. 160? I think the My Hero hype might pull extra people in for it, just to, just to go along and play. Cool. I'm writing down the other guys' names. Cool. So what was right. the second part? So the second part is, how many people do you think are going to be diversified? So... If it's anything like similar to last year, and there was about 100, I think there was like 130 odd players, I think. There was definitely over the 100 mark, I'm pretty sure. And uh, I think there was about two diversities last year, two, I think. The meta's going to shift the game with the DLC characters coming out. Yeah. Because I still think the DLC characters, three of them are really strong. Dark one's not going to the dark, the, dark one, the dark one, you'll maybe see somebody trying yeah. to play them out. But Sky's but, strong. Yep. Sky's strong, Van Helsing's very strong, and yep. then and fucking Selma. Bell is even then, stronger. Uh, I don't know if Cell is out. Before. I don't think she's out. No, Cell has got pushed back. Did she? Uh, no. So I think they'll be sh- they'll shift it a wee bit. Their cards will shift it as well as the differences. You're yep. getting all those big cards you get all coming those extra cards. Um, I'll say I'll go for four. I'll say You're four, four. Four diversification. Four diversification. Cool. In the run up to it, because I think a lot of people will also be trying Sky- Scarlet Meteor, Nutcracker, and just trying to value off yeah. of all in good. So I think four people might get through and get the rest of it back out. Unfortunately, right? I'm I'm going to I'm going to lowball. I'm going to say two. Right. Okay. I'm going to say two. Well, it, it's not like back in the days at MK where fourteen people were playing Liu Kang and fourteen people were playing Quan Chi. So like, if you came, I don't know, fiftieth, you still got a place in final yeah. because of that. But I don't think that happened, but it, it was really bad at UK Nats that year for everyone playing the same day. Aye, for the amount of the, the exact same characters was pretty mental. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right, Which, the last category, who, uh, as in not person, but character, do you think is going to win Worlds? Who do I think is going to win Worlds? So I'm going to put out my pick. <laughs> I think I know what your pick will be. Um, it'll be I think Batman. it's... Who do you think? No, I'm going to say... No, 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 I think that's your pick. Um, See, I'm struggling between picking... Yourself, myself, <laughs> but then I also then think I'm wondering if Tim Keith two dot. Tim Keith two dot. There's well, Tim Keith two dot. There's Gil. It's Tim Keith two. Like, there's there's Gil. Some, you still got you've a Jada, you've a Goro, you've a Jada, Shinnok, there's Goro, Shinnok, still Shinnok, around, Shinnok, I, Shinnok shows up. Lord Raptor shows up for events. I think yeah. that's the thing. They they show up for events. Cassie will still be there. She's Cassie might power, show up. She's still there. I think it just depends who you think. Right, okay, I'm not going to go for. Hmm. I think okay. he'll be there, but I don't think Jada would win. Right. Right now. Yeah. Because I don't want to hedge my bets like that, because it seems like too much of a cop out for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Hmm. right, well, I'm, I'm sticking with. I think Goro is going to win Worlds. Yeah. Who do I think will win? I think everyone can deal with Raptor now. Is a yeah. Problem as well. Raptor's not... Like, I, I think a lot of people have pointed out quite obvious that there's no S-tier characters anymore. Yeah, so uh, when Toon made his list, because, there's nothing that yeah, high. Because yeah. everything's dealable nowadays. Yeah. Everything's yeah. dealable. There's ways around it all. Like, no, there's no there's no boogeyman decks currently in the meta. There's pain in the arses. There's things that will annoy you. Yeah. But everything's annoying. If you have a right annoying, tool, yeah. you deal with it kind of thing. Um... No, you know I'll go with him. Since you went with your man, I'll go with Jada. Go with Jada. I'll say Jada. Fair enough. I'll say he'll be enough of a just difficult matches. Yeah, if have. he shows if he shows up, it'd be quite nice. I don't. I obviously, I don't know anyone taking them. No, uh, no, no, neither, neither do I. But I think so, it depends as well. I'm saying Jada because I don't know how the um, Chasm Grim will affect the meta. Uh, the I, I don't well. know yet. I'm actually not too sure. Uh, because again, the one I'm thinking of constantly is Matricide. Yeah. Does that come out? Does that push someone like Astaroth or Vicious or Bell into that position into of that, just yeah. so much damage it takes games? By yeah, itself. possibly. I, I think I think the new cards probably will change up. Yeah, uh, I know I've definitely looked at most of them. They're all pretty uh, strong. I mean, everyone's card is strong. Yeah, everything changes up somebody's game plan. Yeah, which is 
going to be interesting to see it play out. Uh, but yeah, that's the three predictions. Uh, obviously, I'll get the guys' predictions. So Michael, Emma, and Scott will get their predictions for the three. We'll post them up on the UFS Scotland Facebook page, and we'll obviously keep a bit of a note of it. I'll see who wins in the end. Yeah, and see who wins. Two about weeks time. Yeah, like two weeks. What's this? Else? Yeah, it's like the recording of this is what, but we're on the fifth. Uh, yeah, we're the fifth. So it's like what the twentieth. Oft, like fifteen days away. Something yeah, like that. Something like that. Mm. Oft. <laughs> it's getting close. It's going to be very good. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to talk to as many people out when I get out there. Me and the wee brother are still going. Uh, everything's take booked. The camera. Uh, the I might just take the camera. I'll take some stuff. I'll have the tablet and everything like, for recording stuff. Uh, we're now flying out Monday till Monday, so we're there in a couple of extra days as well, which is good. So if you have anything you want so, to record for some reason, aye, yeah, <laughs> like I, I think we've got a big stupid list of things we're going to see. We're doing a big walk one of the days. We're right. walking just outside of Vegas, right? Okay. To the, uh, it's like the Fallout New Vegas bar. Oh, cool. Where like the the place it is actually shot in, like they got all the, the renders for yeah. it. Yeah. So Aaron showed me that, and I was like, oh, that'd be a good walk. So like, we're going to do a hike one day. Probably die. Yeah, pretty sure there's rattle, a day. Pretty sure there's rattlesnakes. I and also don't go in the middle of the day because my parents have gone and it does hit like fifty. Yeah, that's what easy we're in the middle yeah, of the day. We're, we're, we're going to we're going to figure it out uh, and do a hike one day and probably not die. That'll lose weight. It's one or the other. It's well, got no, a bonus you in go there in the morning. Yep. Drink over the yep. like During midday into the, the afternoon and then go walk back. Yep. Drunk, just try and find a straight line. That's all. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we have got a bunch of plans. Going to try and get a bunch of like kind of interviews and talks with people. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, can't wait to go for the first time in Vegas. Aye, so it's going, to be, it's going to be interesting. Aye, it's the first year that I'm not going to Texas. So, yeah, it's going to be good, guys. And we'll see you in the next episode. See you next time.